Hi, this is Ramiro with Carhaven. Today we have this 2013 Audi A4 with a very, very common problem, which is that a customer is seeing an add one quart of oil on the dashboard very frequently. He has to top up the oil every thousand miles, sometimes even less. Uh, based on experience, we suspect the piston rings, but we always check for any other possible leaks before. Uh, so we'll do that first, then check the piston rings, and we'll show you how that's done in these vehicles. Just so you know, this is a very common issue. We are seeing it from years 09 all the way to 2015. Uh, this is the EA888 engine. And the issue was that uh, they were experimenting with new different materials on the piston rings. Well, it didn't turn out so well. So there's a bunch of cars out there with oil consumption issues caused by bad piston rings. Uh, so we'll check it out. So here you see the next step in the process, which is to take the engine out so they can perform the piston um, replacement. This is the engine, obviously. This is an EA888, the famous four-cylinder turbocharged engine. That's a turbo right there. So now that we have the engine out, we separated the cylinder head and we can see the block and the pistons inside. So this explains where the oil is going and why the oil consumption was so bad in this engine. As you can see, uh, that is the bottom of the pistons. You can see right there, the culprits. You see uh, carbon build up in there because the piston rings are not doing their job correctly and allowing the oil to go into the piston. So look, every single cylinder has some form of uh, accumulation. This is probably the worst. Look at that. That is oil getting past the rings and getting burnt, burnt by the high temperatures and pressure of the piston the pistons. So the only way to solve this, there is no other way to do this, is to replace either the piston rings or the actual pistons. We prefer to do the pistons. We always use original parts. You can see in there, uh, this will take care of the issue immediately. At the same time, because it's a good idea to do that, we're gonna replace the water pump with a full metal one. Of course, um, head gasket and other things as well, like the intake manifolds, the exhaust manifold, and other parts as well. You can see the coils, spark plugs, rear main seal, all of that gets done. And here is a part of the process where we are going to insert the piston and the piston ring into the block. To do that, we have this nifty tool that allows us to compress the piston rings into the right place. Now you can see how the actual piston ring and piston is put into the block. You have to be extremely careful with this process or you can damage the piston ring or scratch the block. So we have tons of experience in doing this, so you can see our technician doing a great job at putting the pistons in its right place. And now the very delicate task of putting the timing chain in place. You can see the sprockets are new, guides are new, timing chain is brand new also. Good routes from the camshafts up there to the crankshaft here on the bottom. That's the job of it, to keep the top and the bottom of the engine in sync. In this particular engine, it was a good idea to replace the valves as well. This engine has uh, two intake and two exhaust valves per cylinder for a total of eight intake valves and eight exhaust valves. The reason why it was a good idea to put this, to change these valves in there was because, as you can see, one of the valves was completely burnt. So uh, with the engine out, uh, preventing issues was a concern for us. And here's the end result. Engine running nice and smooth right level i just completed my road test like we always do and did a final scan in the car that's what you want to see all the control units in green no uh trouble codes and the car running perfectly fine the oil also at a perfect level so there you go